How's the timing at the top of the line for Tom Slingsby, though? Line's going to turn wide. Wow. What a start from the Australians. They're going to be fast to mark one, but how brave are they feeling on board the route? We see Denmark right well spin inside the US boat. Quick! Whoa, great control by the Danish there. A really fast split up. Race number one in Toronto goes the way of the Australians. Watch for the line to turn white. Oh, to start out of the middle of the line from Australia on the money and they're now sprinting to mark one. Should be able to convert this into a lead for the Australian team. Well, here we go, we've got a party spoiler here in Rockwell, Denmark. Great comeback by the Danes, making it hard for Great Britain and that's probably the best news there is for Tom Slingsby on board Australia as that's a few metres lost for Great Britain and it's a real battle, here we go. And at gate number six, they make the right-hand turn, make it two for two for the Australians as they win again in Toronto on day one. Australia look a little slow. They're near pole position as we're going to start. This is the umpire's early start penalty. Australia. Oh, there you go. Who's going to beat Australia? Maybe Australia are going to beat themselves. They need to drop to the back of the fleet as Rockwall Denmark started in pole position. Can they convert that to a lead at mark one? And here we go, Australia. They get a little bit loose around that bottom gate as well. We heard it was pretty hard to turn these boats up. And the Australians, well, they're up to seventh, sixth at the moment, but they look a little bit loose out there, I guess, getting towards the end of the day. Perhaps people are starting to get tired on board the boats. It's the epitome of clear sailing as Rockwell Denmark comes across the line and wins race three here at the Rockwell Italy Sail Grand Prix Toronto.